chemicals in the United States are too frequently, almost always, allowed on the market without adequate safety testing. Basically, chemicals in this country are innocent until proven guilty. We let them out there on the market and then 20 years down the line we find that they're building up in people and that they have known or suspected health effects and then we have to sort of like work backward to ban them. This all began when we got a hold of some documents. We obtained literally thousands of pages of internal corporate memos from all of the big chemical companies over a period of 50 years actually. It was just a treasure trove of stuff we started digging into this archive of the chemical industry secrets and one of the things we found was that there was really disturbing evidence on a family of chemicals that are used to make Teflon. These are the same chemicals that are used to make Scotchgard, Gore-Tex, all kinds of stain resistant type of substances. We began looking at these documents and we began noticing that uh, in the case of DuPont they had found this chemical uh, in their workers blood in the community surrounding their factories they'd found it all over the United States when they'd gone into blood banks to look for it and they'd found it in Europe when they'd gone into blood banks to look for it they basically could not find a clean sample of blood that wasn't contaminated with this chemical anywhere on earth and yet they had never bothered to tell the EPA about this startling information with the help of an insider from the company who was really bothered about his role in producing this stuff, uh, we helped him go public and partly as a result of that the EPA fined DuPont with a 16 million dollar fine, was the largest fine ever in their history. Still a slap on the wrist for a corporation as large as DuPont, but it did have a very good effect in that very quickly after that DuPont announced that it had drawn together a number of makers of these chemicals, this family of chemicals, and they'd all agreed to phase out their production and use over the next 10 years. The good news is that DuPont is going to be phasing them out, but you have to ask yourself what the impact is going to be over uh, all of these years that they've been producing it and the years that they're going to continue to produce it. We would like to see a process of systematically reviewing chemicals and making it incumbent upon the manufacturer not just to provide information about the chemicals but prove they're safe. And there's a piece of legislation called the Kids Safe Chemical Act. It says chemicals have to be tested for safety and approved for safety for kids before they're allowed on the market. All new chemicals do. And you say the problem is what do you do about all the chemicals that are already out there because when the existing chemical regulation was put in place back in 1976, there were something like uh, 62,000 chemicals that were grandfathered in without any safety tests whatsoever. So the Kids Safe Chemical Act tries to prioritize the order in which we would go after those chemicals. And the way it prioritizes them is by biomonitoring, doing body burden tests of people's blood to see what chemicals are in people's blood and so the number one thing that puts you on the list for being reevaluated for safety is, is it showing up in kids blood? If it's showing up in kids blood then it automatically goes towards the top of the list to be looked at. This is so opposite from what the current regime is and yet it makes so much sense. Shouldn't chemicals be safe before they're allowed on the market?